So who is excited about today? Today is a good day. You know why? Because today is the first day of the regular season in NFL football. Yes. Yes. I know. I know. I know. Everybody's excited. You got the Patriots and the Chiefs tonight. And then Sunday, you got the Cowboys. You got the Giants in prime time. Of course, I'm rooting for them Giants. It's funny because I just came back from the barber shop, right? And my barber, he's a big Dallas fan. Obviously, I'm in Dallas, so I come across a lot of delusional fans. And I said to him, you know, he asked me, you know, who I think going to win this Sunday? Obviously, I told him it's going to be the Giants. Duh, we beat you two times. Two times last year. So, he's like, hey, man, you know what? We should make a bet. He's like, um... You know, when they lose, you got to let me put a star on your head. And I'm like, man, I ain't with it. <laughs> I said, what do you guys think? You think I should take that bet? You think I should take that bet? I don't know, man. I don't mess with my head, man. He want to put the star on my head. I told him as soon as I get home, I'm shaving my whole head bald. But anyway, man, that's, that's what I love about sports, man. That's what I love about sports. I love the fact that two people could just talk about sports passionately the entire time and just be cool. So, you know, sports is supposed to be the closest thing to a meritocracy, you know, but there's a lot going on in sports that I'm not going to discuss here that kind of takes away from the actual game, but it is what it is. All right. So what are we doing today? What am I doing today? Um... I'm going to go see the movie It. Yes. It. <laughs> now, before I go and watch this movie, um, I got to get something to eat first. And you know, like I mentioned to you guys in my last vlog, I'm training right now. I'm trying to get to this triathlon shape. And in order to do that, I got to make sure that, you know, I eat the right things and I try not to eat too much junk food. You know, so here's what I'm doing right now. I got my got my white rice right here that's cooked. And I'm gonna cook me some veggies on this thing right here. Now this right here that I got, hmm, I picked this up the other day. It's a grill. What I like about it is that it doesn't produce um, much, if any, smoke at all. But I've just been grilling lately, you know. I like to grill my vegetables. It comes out great. Um, so definitely I recommend this thing right here. I picked it up at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm going to drop a link below. Um, I think they have it on Amazon as well. So I'm going to drop a link below for y'all. Got my veggies, my grilled vegetables here. Mmm. About to eat that before I head out to the movies. Now, it's so funny. While I was cooking, um, an alert came on my phone. And it basically was saying how a movie theaters or movie producers are upset. They're saying that Rotten Tomatoes and review, they specifically said Rotten Tomatoes, are basically destroying their business. And it had me thinking, I'm not going to lie, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I do when I watch, before I go watch a movie, I always check for the reviews and I always... You know, I do pay attention to Rotten Tomatoes. The only time I don't really care about what Rotten Tomatoes has to say is if it's just a movie or a sequel to something that I'm just like I really like. Maybe I grew up watching it, or um, maybe my favorite favorite actor is in it. You know, Denzel, Will Smith, somebody that I really don't care. Like I, I'm gonna go. Like they've earned me to at least go out and see it. You see what I'm saying? As opposed to taking what other people have to say. Um, but outside of that, if I see a Rotten Tomatoes or a splash of like 28% or something, like I'm done with you. I'm, I'm going to have to just watch you when you get out on DVD. I'm going to watch you, you know, on the fire stick or something like that. So I'm curious, guys, what do you think? Like, do you do you think they have grounds for this? I think they should just need to focus on making better movies um, and not, you know, not really worry about things like that. Because somebody's going to always have an opinion. Um, I think they need to follow what works and, and not try to take shortcuts and not dish out just crappy movies. Um, I, I think that's that's something they need to really focus on. But I'm going to go ahead and eat right now. I got a couple minutes before this, um, actually about an hour before this movie. 
I don't know about you guys, but I always try to get reserved seating because I don't want the hassle. But I'm expecting a lot of people to be there for this for this movie. So um, I'm gonna make sure to when I come back to talk to you guys, let you guys know how the movie is, let you know if you should be watching it this weekend. Um, oh, peoples who are out in Florida, I got family out in Florida. I'm praying for you guys. Um, just that whole coast, man. Uh, you know, the whole Caribbean islands, man. It's terrible what's going on. It's Mother Nature. Um, like I said in one of my last videos, you just pray that you could get through it. You know, but everything else, you, you can always build it back up. So let's keep them in our prayers. Um, and let's just, you know, see what happens. All right? It's your boy, Bill, for anything. I'm going to hit you up in a few minutes. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm, no outro, no outro. I just realized. I'm going to let you guys know how this movie is. Okay? Because I've heard too many good things. So. I'm going to let you guys know the real, um, so stay tuned. Ah! Okay, so I'm back. I don't even know what I just saw. <laughs> Listen, it, 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 this, this movie, I'm not going to say it was scary, but I want to say it was very, very suspenseful. Okay, very, very suspenseful. Um, I really enjoyed it. The kids who acted in this movie did a hell of a job. They acted their asses off. Um, the guy who plays Pennywise, uh, which is the clown, which is more like a demon, okay, um, did a hell of a job also. Now, I, I'm not, I didn't watch the old version of this movie, um, but from everything that I'm hearing from people who have, they really like this version um, better compared to the compared to the previous one, and what I can tell you, which is not really meant to be a spoiler alert, but there is going to be a sequel to this movie. Um, so it just goes to show you that you know they're they're definitely off to a good track. So I think you're really thoroughly going to enjoy this. Um, I mean, the theater was packed. Definitely go watch it tomorrow. Definitely go watch it over the weekend. I think it's really worth your money. The storyline was tight. Um, the visuals was good. Um, I mean, this is what movies are supposed to be like. You know, it's, a, it's, it's supposed to paint that picture. I think about my favorite. Let me see. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was pretty scary back in the day. Um, Freddy Krueger, of course, was scary. Um, but I'm curious to know what are your guys' favorite scary movie? Okay, like, let me know in the comments down below. So... That's it for me, guys. But before I go, I got to say shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you for being here. But shout out to all the current subscribers. Shout out to all the previous subscribers. I appreciate you guys. It's your boy, Bill, for anything. Peace and love. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.